Apparently this is the cool table. I can turn it into wine if you like. I don't know. That's my brother's trick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, there was a lot of clues for me on the page. The way this character was written was was not, he didn't speak like a modern character. And um, obviously the idea that he was from elsewhere and not from Los Angeles. Um, but it was, it, yeah, it was, it was strange. It, the way he, he obviously enjoys talking and he enjoys being articulate. And I think he enjoys being slightly Hyperion to everyone else. So, um, the idea, you know, I um, when I was at drama school, I studied a lot of like Noel Coward and Oscar Wilde, and these kind of these characters have airs and graces about them. And the idea of taking someone like that and putting them in a modern setting, I thought would be quite fun. So I sort of used this um, sort of heightened received clipped received pronunciation, but with a bit of kind of when he loses it and he's sort of slightly off guard, a bit more earthy and rocky. So like I said before, he's, he's like he's the love child of Noel Coward and Mick Jagger. Natural charm to the role. Apparently, that's one of the reasons they really wanted you for the role. Oh, really? Apparently, the wrote the, the worrying thing is that when I got this job, loads of my mates went, "Oh, you're perfect for it." <laughs> <laughs> and you were worried by yeah, really worried. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, did you read that amount of charm in the script itself, or did you just find that you know, when you were trying to create the character? I think, I think the, uh, the, 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 the sense of fun that he has about everything, I find fun charm. You know, I think people that don't want to take anything too seriously, um, I think it's quite charming. You know, and, and so innately, you know, that, that comes about from that as well. Um, and when he took such a personal interest, like his friend, the woman who gets killed yeah. initially. That, that, I mean, that was not just him being flippant about her condition and no. what was going on. He just seemed to generally care. Yeah. There was like, a little bit of hurt involved that was unusual. Well, the, and it was unusual to him, and this is what. This is the interesting thing, and this is why he checks into therapy at the end of the pilot, because he's like having this existential crisis of going, he's kind of got these funny things, like feelings or emotions or something and he can't work it out and I think that's that's where the fun is to be had this kind of humanization this redemption of this character that we all think is intrinsically evil. Mm -hmm. I'm playing the devil. Yeah. <laughs> I know I mean it's always nice just to have the actual material to show people and go then come back to me and talk to me afterwards. Um, it's it's a it's quite a fun thing to say to people. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm playing the devil at the moment. Yeah, exactly. He plays the devil. Um, but I don't know. I think I, I I'm more excited about it. Like it was so lovely today actually to sit in a room with people, a big group of people watching something that we're all really proud of and really enjoying it and enjoying it for the right reasons because it is it is a show that is doesn't take itself too seriously and by that is able to explore things that maybe it couldn't if it did take itself too seriously you know so which relationship are you most excited to explore as the series goes on oh well i think i mean all of them are fun but there's uh there's certainly you know lauren and i really enjoy working together because of the nature of our of our back and forth relationship and that is something that will continue the idea that this <laughs> he's met someone who his charms don't work on is really perplexing to him um but yeah, I kind of liken their uh, their relationship to a bit like Be uh, Benedict and Beatrice in Much Ado About Nothing. You know, they, they kind of love each other. You know they love each other, but they can't let that go. Yeah. So, no, I'll have a lot of fun with that. But all of them, I mean, the, the brother relationship between me and, uh, and Deeping will, will be fun as well. Because I really enjoy winding him up. Lucifer's not really hiding who he is. No. But are we going to see in more of a supernatural way well, you get—I mean, there are you get glimpses in the pilot. Actually, you know, there's a tiny glimpse with Jimmy when he when he um, when he goes to confront Jimmy about about Delilah, uh, and you catch a glimpse in the mirror of this image of him, and you and you suddenly realise, oh, okay, this is not this kind of gentleman that we've you know that we've been introduced to. It, it sort of it gives a hint towards the hor the horrific side, the real side of, of who this guy could be. Um, I think the supernatural stuff. One thing I really liked about it is that we didn't rely too much on a supernatural element. Yeah, like this character is—it's 
he's kind of a character and like the the, the, the the fun is that he's not reliant on these kind of supernatural powers his power is quite innocuous really he's just very good at it yeah. I, I've read them now Neil actually Neil sent me some copies of them himself which was lovely and, and uh, he uh, it was really he sent me a really sweet message actually when he watched the pilot to say how much he enjoyed it and that meant a lot to me because you know people we get asked a lot you know is it going to be a literal translation of, of these comics and no is the answer to that question it's it's used as a starting point for us and um, inspired by it and you know we take it in the direction we are but to have Neil contact us and say he loved it and, and everything was like thank you we, we have the, yeah exactly we have his blessing oh, I'd love to be able to fly I really would yeah right yeah well I mean come on <laughs> people say people even say flying or invisible <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not being invisible. <laughs>